Hey guys, it's me Nisha and I'm coming to you with a sickle cell vlog. As you can see from the background, I am in the hospital. Um, I can't remember if I posted on, on my Facebook page if I was in the hospital or not, but I do think I posted that I went to the ER. I went to the ER on um, Saturday because I was having a lot of pain. Um, it actually started Friday. Actually, Friday I was doing pretty good. I wasn't having any pain. And I went to my doctor's appointment, got my refills and all of that. I got an allergy shot because my sinuses were starting to flare up a little bit. But I had minimum sickle cell pain. So, um, um, Friday night... I wasn't doing anything, just hanging around the house, and I just started getting some excruciating pain. Like, it was it was really bad, like, um, to the point where, like, that pain where it hurts so bad where you can't do anything and just, like, you can't do anything but lay there and cry. So, that started happening um, Friday night, and I was going to record... But, like I said, I was in so much pain that I couldn't even record a vlog. Um, so, I took some medicine and went to sleep. Then Saturday morning, I woke up and I wasn't feeling any better. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I wasn't feeling any better after Saturday morning. So, I was, my kids had... My son had a pizza party that we had scheduled for his basketball team because they did really good and we wanted to reward them. So I didn't want to miss the pizza party. So I had um, the pizza party and after the pizza party, I um, went to the ER. Now, I had my sister to take me to the ER, Mika, the one that doesn't have sickle cell. She brought me to the ER. And my mom stayed with the kids. Um, and Arthur was going to take me to the ER. But I didn't want him to um, miss any days that he didn't have to miss. Because we're supposed to be going on vacation in June. And I don't want any our vacation to be cut short any days. So I told him, just, hey, babe, go to work um, and keep those days. Um, so, he went to work, so my mom stayed with the kids, and Mika came with me, um, but he does still come up to the hospital in the daytime, because he works nights, um, you guys know that from my vids, um, he works nights, so he comes and stays with me throughout the daytime, and it is, what is it, it's Tuesday night. So, I've been in here three days now. So, yeah. What they're giving me for pain is Dilaudid, 3 milligrams every three hours, and 25 milligram um, Benadryl, and um, 4 milligram of Zofran every six hours. So, three hours for every um, for the Dilaudid, and what is it? Um, three hours for the Dilaudid, and um, six hours for the Benadryl, and six hours for the Zofran. Yeah, I'm probably like really sluggish in this video, or that's because of the medicine. It makes me like like loopy and um makes me like forgetful and everything so when I said told you guys that the medicine makes me forgetful and like all of that this is this is how it makes me or I'll be talking and forget something that I'm talking about just how I was just explaining you my medicine I'll I'll just get like that or I'll be sitting here and I'll just like doze off and fall asleep or something um but I just want to let you guys know that even though I'm in a lot of pain, I am doing okay. 
Um, I wanted to let you know that I thank you guys for all of your prayers. Um, all of you asking, am I okay? Um, on Facebook and seeing that you're praying for me. I really appreciate that. Even though I do see some of the comments, I haven't been able to answer them because, like, I've been just so drowsy and tired and in pain. I haven't been able to to answer them, but I have been able to read them. Um, but like I said, because of how the medicine makes me, like, I'll have intentions to do something, and I'll start out to do that, but it won't end up that way. So I hope you guys don't think that I'm just ignoring you or not answering your messages because I, I do see the messages. I'm just very tired. I mean, when your body's in pain like this all the time, you're, you're tired. You feel like you didn't get any rest. Um, I do appreciate all of you, all of my friends in other places. Um, because, like I said, if you're not able to get any friends or family in your area, you can get a support system from people on Facebook in the sickle cell support groups <clears throat> and you can also find support groups in your area even if it's not for sickle cell for chronic illnesses um but some of those people um my my facebook support groups um people that i met met through support groups um there's a there's someone in africa i can't remember his name shoot i can't remember his name i'm sorry um, there's also a guy in Texas and he got on me about not remembering his name, but I remember it now. His name is Manny. Hey, Manny. Um, my, my girl in Texas, her name is Monique. Hey, Mo. Um, and my, my friend in, um, North Carolina, uh, is Frenchie J. Hey girl, so and and my friend who's close, um, and who I did my last sickle cell vlog for, she's in Chicago. Her name is Laura. Hey girl. So, um, if if I forgot anybody, I mean, again, it's not I'm not forgetting you on purpose. Um, it's a uh, 100% an accident and these medications when I'm on these medications like I am thrown for a loop like I don't remember things that I normally remember so if I forgot you hey I really appreciate your prayers and your kind words and your thoughts I ask that you just continue to pray for me and I'll definitely be praying for you and all the other sickle cell warriors out there um, <clears throat> I'll do I am recording on my camera while I'm here, whenever I can think about it. And once I get home, I'll edit it into one big vlog. But in the meantime, while I'm in the hospital, since I don't have that much energy, I'll just be recording on my phone, giving you an update like this. So, uh, 